Andor season one episode number two ladies and gentlemen we're here to next week's episode of Andor last week the series slash season premiere for the show was fantastic man the show looks absolutely stunning it looks incredible like all the Star Wars not all of them I should say but a lot of the Star Wars shows and movies look amazing but there's just something about this one when I was watching the first episode, I was just constantly stunned every single scene, man. They did such a good job with the set design and with the way it looks, man. I love it. Outside of that, very dark overtones, man. First episode, our boy Cassian killed somebody. Killed two people already. Granted, the first person was on accident, you know, and the second one, well, can't really have any witnesses. But the more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out, you know, and those two officers, they just decided to give the wrong guy problems. Now, granted, he wasn't trying to kill him, at least the first guy, but sometimes stuff happens, man. And I talked about that last week a little bit. Now he's kind of wanted. He's being looked into. He's trying to escape. He's still trying to look for a sister, too. We got a lot going on, man. We have some of the flashbacks to when they were younger, which I think is how we ended last episode with him kind of running off with the rest of his tribe to go i'm assuming what was to go explore and kind of try and find what had came down crashing out of the sky his sister stayed behind but regardless guys i'm here for it i'm excited for it so i'm gonna stop wasting time we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this episode before we do i do ask if you guys are new to the channel you do hit that subscribe button comment down below what you guys will see next man drop a like on the video for your boy full reaction will be up on patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below but we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hop into this episode. Well, our previously on. Our comms. This shit's so good, dude. I'm one episode in and I already love it. When I was going into this, people were telling me, oh, private, it's a slow bird. It's gonna take you like three episodes to get into it at least. Bro, episode one, I am hooked. I love it. I mean, at this point, you guys should know. It's Star Wars. I'm going to love it more than likely. You know what I mean? Especially live action Star Wars. Especially live action Star Wars that looks this good. I wonder why there is no subtitles for, uh, for these discussions here in the flashbacks, right? If there's a specific reason for it, maybe we'll go into it more later. Maybe if he finds his sister or something. What is this, bro? A little mining spot? Or not little mining spot, huge mining spot. I'm assuming so if we're in 5 BBY current day. I'm assuming these flashbacks are probably during Clone Wars, no? During like the Clone Wars time? Or no, I get well yeah, the flashbacks we gotta be, right? I want that job, bro. <laughs> he must do that at a certain time every single day, right? Everything okay? Oh, oh, this. <laughs> oh, I need a wash. I was helping Pegland. Tripped on a cable. I would have come home this morning, but everything I had going on was over east. I've been trying to get back all day. She probably knows, right? Every doc I've ever submitted has always said you were born on Fest. Have you ever said anything other than Fest? Who told these primo bastards about Canary? That would be me. Vix is looking for you. What? Well, why would you do that? Forget that. What She's still in the yard. You? What do Please. they want? Wait! Calculating he's on that low battery man oh see like he, bro it sucks because he wasn't even trying to kill him but it's like once he killed one he felt like he had to kill the other the buyer's coming it's too late to call him off he'll be here in the morning mm. you can buy it and then sell it to him no i won't forget this bro is this her boy watching yeah look at this little fucking beta male bro I mean, I'm sure they had a thing in the past, right? Like, there's that vibe. They definitely had a thing in the past, whether it was a real relationship or a fling. I don't know, but... He's gonna do it. He's gonna go report him. Cassian Andor. That says he's from Fest. This was a tip call, right? Probably someone messing with us. I don't see Canari here. Hold on. I have an image. Mm. That's right. The lady did say he's... Officially, he's supposed to be from Finesse, right? Trying to see if he looks like he's from Canari. Oh, is that the girl from the bar? It is. Oh, no. Will you be sitting up with us, son? I think I should, don't you? Excellent. If I may, sir, hats off to you and Chief Inspector. Two men dead, line of duty, colleagues. It's outrageous. Exactly. 
He's like, finally someone agrees. Corporate tactical forces are the Empire's first line of defense, and the best way to keep the blade sharp is to use it. So, mm. well. I'll pass along your kind words to the Chief Inspector. So. Bro. He's like, finally somebody fucking agrees with me. That just... <laughs> That probably just made him so happy because he's been on the low key about it this whole time since the chief inspector told him not to do anything about it and let it pass. But I mean, I get it from their point of view too. You know what I mean? Like somebody murdered two officers. It's just a shitty situation because we have the viewer's perspective, right? Bro, I thought it was... <laughs> The, the way the music built up, I thought she was about to get blasted. A little spacewalk? <laughs> or just land walk? I thought he was I thought he was stopping up in the spit in the atmosphere for some reason. Is this uh Is this the chief inspector? Going to his meeting? Or am I tripping? Oh no, it's not. Yes, sir. <laughs> Bro, this is going to become my favorite part of the show. Oh, my God. I'd love to do that as a job, man. That'd be so dope. Yeah, he dead, dead, bro. But what killed him? Did they get injured in the crash and die when they were trying to crawl out? Or did something else kill them when they came out? Bro, your whole tribe's behind you. Are they not going to take them out or say something? What? What are you guys doing? Nobody said nothing? What? None of y'all did anything? Jesus, bro. Death by a thousand darts, man. Holy hell. Nobody shot first? Like, was nobody looking back? Was Cassian the only one to see? Damn, yup. I wonder if this is the first time they've seen something like a blaster, right? Like, everybody there, none of them can be over, like, outside of their 20s, right? Like, they gotta be all under 30. It's anger, man. I guess Cassian was probably the only one to see the dude get up. All of them were looking at her, right? But he was so young, he didn't know what to do. Kind of froze. Cassian oh. Andor. Not a recent image, but the best we've got. Andor should be considered armed and dangerous. We will have the element of surprise, but there should be no illusions as to the risks involved. Oh, yes, sir. He's like, what? You want me to say something? This is one of those decisive moments, and I can't imagine a team I'd rather share it with than all of you. There's no room for doubt on the path to... You seem pretty doubtful. <laughs> Best of him. luck to us all. He's like, that's all you got, man? This ain't really his line of, uh, he, he ain't used to being in the field. You know what I mean? <laughs> I get where he's coming from. Like, it's dangerous to do nothing because, you know, if you let this shit slide again and again and again and again and again and again and again, eventually, you know, you might be the one with the gun in your face. You know what they say? What was that? If you can't find it here, it's not worth finding. Hmm. It's like a giant market then, I presume. Oh, he's here on the same planet as Cassian. Okay. Bro, the soundtrack for the show is really good too. I like it. Is that the end, bro? Ah. Great episode, man. Shit. Fantastic episode. And or season one, episode number two is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! We building up more and more, man. I can definitely tell. It definitely does feel like, you know, we're doing this in kind of more so arcs, right? I think the first three episodes are together, so I'm excited to see next episode especially because the first episode was good to get us in the world, set something up. This episode, we continue to build on that. 
and see a lot more. And now I'm excited to see what happens next episode because it feels like we're at a tipping point, right? Because we got every, all the officers are coming to his planet looking for him. They kind of know what he looks like. They know his name and everything like that. They got the tip from fucking, um, from Bix's guy, from Bix's boy and beta male, bro. He just jealous. He thinks they're doing some shit. And I mean, him and Bix, uh, yeah, him and Bix uh, seemed like they had something before. I don't know if it was a fling. I don't know if it was a relationship or what, but he's jealous, man. You can tell. And it's like, bro, beta male shit. You know what I mean? But I get it from his point of view a little bit too, but it's like, man, it sucks. But then again, we do have the viewer's perspective, you know? Uh, the flashbacks are fucking good. I, I don't... I mean, I don't really know why. Maybe later on it'll explain it more. Maybe when we meet a sister or something, why they don't show the captions for what they're saying. But it's definitely an interesting way to communicate, you know, some of the things they did, like when she was moving in, she kind of did like a clicking noise for them to follow her up kind of, or stays like move forward a little bit. But they said the mi there was a mining disaster on Canary and it essentially killed everybody. I don't know if it was just the explosion type thing that killed everybody because they were pretty close to the mining facility. I think he also said it got like poisoned or something or some gases were released. So maybe it was that too, that, you know, played a part in killing everybody, which is why maybe that's how him and his sister got separated after the mining disaster. Cause we haven't seen it fully, but clearly we're getting little pieces of it and little details on it. So I don't know how long they've been apart. If maybe, you know, that last episode at the end, when he kind of left off on this adventure not adventure but like to search for the ship with everybody if that was the last time he saw her if maybe you know they, that they will see each other again and they get separated after the mining disaster happens whatever it is but it's interesting to see man it is and it's cool to get this little build up and backstory to it as opposed to it all just happening at once super fast in an episode and granted yeah we are building up a little bit slowly i still feel like we're getting a lot in each episode man you know what i mean and i like that bro but like I was saying, we're kind of at a, 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 like our tipping point right now. All officers are coming for him on his planet. They know what he looks like and stuff like that. He's got his kind of exit strategy. He's about to go sell his part, hopefully, right? If everything goes right. And then he should be able to make it off world. 700 credits, I think he said. But is it going to go right? You know, is Bix's boy going to fuck him over, you know, and hold him up? Is Bix going to find out and stop him? Is Bix going to go with him? I feel like there's a lot that could happen, but I'm here for it. I'm excited for it. The next episode is definitely going to be great. These first two, the, the 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 visuals are just amazing, man. I'm sitting here watching it, and I just want to constantly keep saying that, and I almost have to hold myself back from saying how good the show looks because I don't want it to get too repetitive. But God damn, does the show look fucking good, man. They just did such a great job with it, and I that's probably my favorite part of the show. You know, I, I hear a lot of people talk about the dialogue and the writing, and yes, I am on episode two, so I haven't finished it or anything like that. I can tell the dialogue and the writing is super good in comparison to some of the other Star Wars stuff. I already like it more, but the visuals are just so damn good, man. I can't get over it. You know what I mean? It's just so damn good. Every time we go to another planet, every time we go to daytime or nighttime on this show, it just looks beautiful, man, and I love seeing it. But regardless, guys, Another fantastic episode is in the books. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, if you guys did enjoy this reaction video, make sure to leave a like. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. For reaction, it'll be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, everybody? I hope you guys all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is a movie or TV series that you guys would like to see me react to next? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Silas Kane, and the homie Alexander Collins. I appreciate your guys' insane support, man. If you guys want to join the Patreon family, link is on screen right now as well as in the description down below. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.